Hey folks, Friday the 13th of May 2022 and uh, what we've seen yesterday, a bit of a bounce on equities, a um, little bit of a reprieve from what has been two weeks of selling on these markets. Um, so have we gotten cheap enough? Well, you know, is this the bounce? Uh, is it over? Well, no, I, I, I don't think <laughs> the bear trending uh, down is over. I do think we, uh, you know, looking at like major U.S. equities, I, I think we could have somewhat of a decent rally from the lows that we saw yesterday. Um, but I think generally the sellers are in. I think this is just a little bit of a, a snack to the to the buyers uh, before we will resume further selling from just a little higher above. Um, so yeah, uh, going to have a look at these charts here um, as. We are trading this morning. DAC uh, on the front foot up 1.4 percent, and going down 0.3 percent. So you know, looking to trade back on the top of this range, which would be 14095s DAC. We're going to say goodbye to the DAC and say hello to the Nasdaq here. Uh, yesterday, you know, again, new lows on the week coming in there. Um, yesterday there was just a little bit of a bounce uh, coming in there. Um, through the opening hour um, and then just kind of taking back you know doing a round trip on the day uh, back to the lows and then kind of bid into the close here on nasdaq so you know i i just it just doesn't feel like that's the low um you know looking across to the daily bars here um uh, yeah nice a nice sort of an or hammer here um into well I'm going to go out on bars here into the lows uh, that we saw on uh, 16th of November, well the week of the 16th of November 2020 um, and you know we're back now holding the uh, 12 181s right now so you know we, we, we may uh, want to rally back to at least the bottom of this trend here or sorry range 12 701 three quarters um, you know I think there, there, there is just more downside in this I think um, you know, so uh, gonna minimize that and get over here. Look at who's well. I mean, tech has been so so beaten up. We did a video, um, internally here this morning, looking at um a lot of the major caps and how they're trading in you know in their all time monthly chart. Um, but you know, here's the spoos um on the daily bars and got a bit of a linear regression channel to the upside here. You can see we we've come down to test pretty much um that channel up here. So um coming in around the lows of yesterday, just shy of the trend by a couple of ticks. I'd actually like to see uh, us test the this trend before the buyers coming in, but it looks like it, you know it looks like they're already there, and it looks like we can easily trade up to the twenty EMA from here. So quite bullish for um equities today. Looking at the VIX, I can bring up the, the VIX chart here just to kind of supplement uh, this analysis here. And you're looking at the VIX on daily bars. I know it's quite a busy chart. We could probably just go to a clean chart here. Well, a relatively clean chart. Uh, we'll go to a blank chart here. And so this kind of does look like, you know, from the open, we are down uh, currently 3.3% on the VIX. I think we can drop even further. And that will be, uh, you know, a tailwind for equities to uh, get on higher prices. So looking back to the spoos here, um, you know, I think buyers are certainly coming in, stepping in here um, at these valuations across the board. I think, you know, we see, we looked at some of these large caps this morning. There is a bit of value to be had there. Certainly, um, you know, getting quite a few percentiles out of buying the lows that we've seen on these two weeks. Um, I think, you know, equities, equity traders are going to make a bit of money on buying, having bought yesterday's dip um, and at, at least holding it for today um, and over the weekend. Um, do we have a catalyst for the upside? No. Uh, do we have a catalyst for the downside? Yes, we did. Uh, rate hiking, rate hiking cycle uh, beginning, further lockdowns in China. Well, China holding the lockdowns at the moment, there was parts of Beijing coming out of lockdowns, but other parts uh, fresh sort of um, lockdowns, uh, you know, to only release in a couple of weeks time, if that. Uh, but, you know, their zero COVID policy is really 
taking its toll and is the next kind of uh, sort of impetus for more inf more inflation. Uh, so, uh, you know, cheap goods being uh, sent out of China, well, not being sent out of China at the moment to the US, so therefore uh, what goods are that are being sent, like iPhones, uh, prices will be going higher. Um, and the Dow, looking at the Dow here, on the daily so uh sorry weekly chart so we we've you know we've really come into some pretty decent value on the lows here now one way to play this is if you want to hold longs for maybe two months three months you will be taking a calendar uh you would be buying these out on the calendar so we are trading the june contract now so maybe you want to be buying like an october or a december contract here uh there'll be a little less volatility but you will uh you know as we come closer to the expiration of say you know a september or a december contract on uh, dow and uh, the volatility will pick up and um you know it's a smarter way to trade a longer futures position anyway i don't want to get too far down that rabbit hole we've we've done a lot of analysis on that in our room uh on the pro trader room and discord where most of the magic happens um, so here is this sort of uh, trend up channel, which we burst out of in November 2020 with a whole lot of Fed money in our pocket and uh, reaching for these new all time highs up here. What did we get? We got um, 36,720s all time high. So pulling back, we're testing the top of this channel here right now. So, you know, the big question is, is have we created enough new value in this in this market for us to justify holding say the highs of february 2020 you know have we created a whole lot of new value here and i actually don't know if we have i don't know if we have there's a lot of spac deals have gone gone on um a whole lot of crypto money has been absolutely uh, you know eviscerated over the last two weeks uh luna uh, as of this morning luna will be shut down i actually think it's now in 10 minutes time oh no it's now 9 30 a.m marker binance are closing trade on luna and ust and us uh i think it's Lu I, I don't know usb ustb um so it's I, I i'm not sure about that third market but uh it you know really going from uh going down to uh, you know micro pricing on luna as of yesterday spot zero 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 four nine i think was the last mark i saw um so coming back to what we're talking about have we created a new, a new value for us to justify holding uh, here as a baseline for this market and i don't know if we have i don't know if we have so while we may bounce today you know get lower down on the vix i think it's just a matter of time before somewhere in this area we will renew selling to come down and, and really test on the top of this channel. And you, know, you can see it's not a clean test area from trade back here in November 2020 into Jan 21. Uh, so yeah, just be careful out here at the moment. But for today, I think you know, looking to buy on any pullbacks, you know, I think once we come into the US market, the VIX will want to bounce a little bit towards its opening price, which will put downward pressure on equities and then as you would have a thesis for the vix continuing to go and print lower on the day that would be a nice opportunity then to buy in around 31.495 uh to then look for higher highs on the dow for today's session uh oil a bit of a gap on the uh reopen of uh, trade in on nymex on globex here so uh that will close at 10614s uh, but right now there are buyers holding this up um not really a fundamental view here to hold for that but um we are still waiting for word out of the european commission on this ban we need details haven't got the details and with that you know it the oil is kind of quietened down somewhat i mean look yeah we're getting you know decent upside buying 104 12s yesterday and getting into 107s on the upside i mean it's crazy crazy ranges on oil these days it's fantastic um you know so it's, i've covered that quite enough this week um for, you know a lot of sensible areas to be getting involved and not getting involved on some of these markets gold 
yeah look y'all this morning or say it's around well on the close actually of flow and then reopen and uh, finding supports 1809 spot threes bid up i i don't i think we could fall back down actually on on gold i thought you know we had shut down selling there somewhat you know but it's, it's really now just finding a bit of weakness again and the dollar holding high on a five-year range here so really you know elevated dollar Still looking for one spot oh three one seventy five on the downside for supports on the euro. Um, that's it really for me for today, uh, for the pre US rundown, and that is it for me for this week. So, uh, if you're watching this tomorrow on Saturday morning, good morning, and uh, otherwise we will see you on Monday, and I'll be talking to the rest of the team in the pro trade chat room throughout today's session. All right, take care, have a good weekend, see you Monday. Cheers.